I bow down to all of you to hold me for the next few minutes because you're going to listen to my journey and at the same time supporting me with the energy through the people around in the room. So when I read the mail that I have to share, and I was like, okay, I have to share my journey because I'm not good at stories, but I'm good at experiences because I would like sharing my experiences through my journey. So when people ask me, how did you start your spiritual journey? Because uh, it mean, you know, it is it is kind of difficult for them to accept. And an answer came to me that accidentally I stepped in urban ashram and since then I never stopped because since then I never stopped my journey because I just started my journey and I didn't stop at all. <coughs> and reflecting on my journey for last one hour, because I know I wanted to talk about it, I was getting nothing but only the reflection of today's day and the beautiful presentation, the spirited talk of yesterday's. And I just got an answer that what are we here for holding? I mean, service, seva. Everything is around service, everything. And um, I just uh, realized that that is what I'm achieving here because when I went into urban ashram and when I was, uh, like everyone was planted see planting seeds in me and they were happening with small steps in me and these small, small, small steps have actually got a transformation inside me and everything stands with small because like the smallest step and for me when service came, six words revolve around into it in a circle and these are my experiences which I'm going to share and the first word came to me is love and it came to me that love is a quality which everyone is gifted with and we just start to, you know, discriminating love and love is a beautiful quality which everyone has and it just, you know, kind of transformed me. And the second quality came to me is give, giving. And again, I share that giving, receiving has a very thin line. And uh, I want to share one experience about giving in my life is, uh, before I left for my six week retreat, um, I had committed myself that I'm gonna, like, you know, kind of empty my wardrobe how much ever I can with an intention that if I'm going to empty my wardrobe, there's going to be space inside me to receive. And I did it and I emptied 50% of my wardrobe with an intention that after this and like for next six weeks, I'm going to go to a very deep retreat where I really want to receive the experiences in me and I want to transform myself. And that one act of mine actually showed me in the retreat that wow, I can actually receive this right now because I had so much space inside me emptying that I could receive it. And that was one act which I did. And I was like, you know, giving is something which is, we define, but I, feel, I still feel it's just giving, receiving, because when I give a hug, at the same time I'm receiving a hug from the other person. So it's, it, there's no line, there's, it's, just, there's, it's just there. So that was the second word which came to me. Then the third word came to me was purify, purification. And it means to me about is the intention inside you, what intention you hold to do this thing around you. And it was so clear that when you start practicing these small, small thing and when you start realizing the actual importance of these words, the intention is just pure. You don't even have to work on it because it just flows through you. And that is it. Then the fourth word came to me was meditate. What is actual meditation? And I reflected and I was like, it's just serving myself. Because when I'm serving myself in that silence, I'm able to serve everyone around you in the same manner what I'm experiencing in that silence. And that is what came to me that silence meditation and exactly I'm gonna you know like serve in the way I'm serving myself inside because that one hour I know it is so different for me it gives me 23 hours of different awareness in that one hour when I practice it and then the next word came to me is realization realization 
What is self-realization of these small, small words? The self-realization of love, meditation, purification, giving is actual self-realization. When you actually practice all these words in your life, knowing it is very easy, but these words are very easy, but when you actually start practicing in a deeper form, you will realize your life is no more same. Because for me, it's like these words before didn't carry any meaning, but now it does carry. And after that, when you give your 100%, you just need to surrender. And that, the, that was the word which came to me, surrender yourself now. You have given your 100% in these words and you have practiced and now surrender. And then it came to me that surrender it to the universe because you have actually we chose, we are as an instrument here and when we have practiced all these things in our life, surrender is also easy because it also, I feel it is, it's a, it's a process. It's, I mean, when I went through my journey, I feel it's a process through all these words and then, and then you actually came to it. And after surrender, I could connect service because when you are actually surrendering and when you have actually all these qualities inside you, the service is from a very different space. It's not just serving, but it is very different and deep. It is a very deeper space. The serving is not a usual serving, but it is something which comes from within. It's from the deeper space inside you. And, you know, I was just relating all these words in my life and how important they have been in my life. And these small, small seeds of these words have actually grown me here. Grown me here, like, you know, and these actually carry importance to it. And then this quote comes to me, change yourself, change the world, which Gandhiji says, and it's, it's beautiful that everything starts from within, you know, because when you change yourself, your world is different. It's not the same. So it's all within. So this is my small short journey and thank you for listening. <laughs>